Hello viewers, this is Waga Daronaw taking you through lesson 2 of this tutorial Scattered Graphs and Spearman's Rank Correlation Coefficient. So in today's lesson we are going to look at the line of base fit. This is a straight line through the mean point, usually denoted by capital M, and any one or more points plotted, ensuring that there are equal or almost equal points left on either side of the line so we shall go through this problem in lesson one we covered how to get how to plot the scatter diagram and to comment on the relationship now in lesson two we shall use this very question to draw the line of base fit through the points of the scatter diagram and use it to estimate roman one the cost of traveling a distance of 40 kilometers and Roman 2, the distance that can be traveled at a cost of 1,050 shillings. So in lesson 1, as a review, we, we drew this scatter diagram. And today we are going to start from there to see how to get the line of base fit. So the first step to get the line of base fit is to get the mean point, capital M. That mean point is got by summing up all these x values. When you sum up, you get... 284. Similarly, when you sum up the y values, you'll get 13,450. When you get so you have to get the mean value of x, which is given by the formula summation x over n. Now n is the number of pairs when you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means our n is 10. So divide by 10, you get 28.4. Do the same for y, summation y over n, which is 13,450. Divide by 10, you'll get 1,345. So our mean point, capital M, is 84, sorry, 28.4, 1,345. So after getting the mean point, you have to add it there in the scatter points. So now they are, these were 10, now we add another one to make 11. After getting that, we have to follow the rule. It says that draw a line such that it passes through this mean point and any one or more of these other points, ensuring that it leaves equal or almost equal points on either side. So in this case, if this line passes through the main point and this point, it will leave 1, 2, 3, 4 points on this side and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 points on this side. So 4 points this side, 5 points this side. So they are almost equal. The difference is 1, meaning that our line is the required line of best fit. Now after, knowing that, after drawing that line of best fit, we were asked to use it to find Roman 1, the cost of traveling a distance of 40 kilometers, and Roman 2, the distance that can be traveled at a cost of shillings 1050. So, shall start with Roman 1, 40 kilometers. What is the cost? Remember the distances on the horizontal axis. So, shall look for our 50 here, our 40, sorry. Go up, take, make, take a vertical line upwards until it meets the scatter, until it meets this line of base fit. When it meets that line of base fit, take a horizontal line to meet the vertical axis and read off that point. That will be the value that is required. So in this case, the cost of traveling a distance of 40 kilometers is shillings, so 1,700. Then Roman 2, they wanted the corresponding distance for shillings 1050. So we shall come here on the vertical axis, which has the rates charged. Look for 1050. Take a horizontal line to meet the line of base fit. Then take a, a vertical line to meet the horizontal axis. Read off that value, and that will be the distance required. So in our case, the distance that can be traveled at a cost of shillings 1050 is 18 kilometers. So that brings us to the end of our lesson today. Tune in next time for the next lesson on how to rank.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Roa e-learning. Thank you.